G'day YouTube, this is just a super quick unscripted look at the latest release of Linux Mint 19, the XFCE edition, so the slightly more lightweight desktop. So here we go, uh, let's uh, just have a look around. Now basically uh, Linux Mint uh, 19 comes in a few different flavors, Cinnamon which is the default distribution, uh, then we have XFCE and uh, Mate. Now just having a look at XFCE, we'll have a look at a few things. So you can see straight off the bat, it's a little bit more lightweight. It's got a bit of a uh, Windows XP-esque uh, sort of a feel to it there. Uh, if we were to go to the window manager, or sorry, should I say the file manager, let's see. So we can see it does look like uh, the Cinnamon release version or Ubuntu, but if we have a closer look, we'll see it's the Thuna uh, file manager, which is designed to be a bit more lightweight, uh, a little bit more simplified and uh, just less resource heavy, that kind of thing. Although it does look very similar to uh, the default uh, distro release for Linux Mint and... Uh, Ubuntu, so I'm pretty surprised about that. Yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, moving on, let's see. Uh, because it is a new release, let's have a look at the kernel. And this is great to see. It's 4.15, which means that it's one of the latest releases of the Linux kernel, which is great for uh, updated or later hardware, that sort of thing there as well. So uh, a few bunch of tricks within there. Uh, let's have a look at the, the, the resource usage. So just one single CPU on this one that I'm using right now. We won't worry too much about that one, but it looks like it is idle in, which is great to see. It's using straight off the bat just about uh, 392 megabytes of RAM, which is hardly anything, which is really quite good. It's actually not a great deal less than the Cinnamon release, because I have checked that out. It was sitting at about 450 megabytes of RAM, but uh, this is still pretty good. If you want something that's super lightweight, then this is probably the distribution for you guys. If you do like the Linux Mint branding, but on top of that, uh, yeah, lightweight, then yeah, go for it. You will notice uh, something new with the, the icons. They've been all updated and that sort of thing there, which is really nice to see as well. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much it. Let's see, if you guys wanted to uh, install something through the terminal, I'll show you guys how to do that as well. You use the apt uh, update method, so you type in sudo apt install and whatever the program is that you want to install, say hdop. So let's throw in password and that's how you install stuff. So that's pretty much it guys. Like I said, super simple, quick and silly little unscripted review of our Linux Mint 19 XFCE edition. Now this is in beta still, but um, the beta has just been released. But uh, when things reach the beta, obviously they um, they they have a freeze on uh, basically kernels and software and, and things of that nature. Speaking of uh, software, it's not something I normally get into with uh, quick little reviews uh, because if there's anything that you want to install, just go ahead and install it. But um, it's got a whole flurry of uh, things, including all the office applications that you do need sometimes. So cheers, guys. Uh, super quick video, and I hope you've enjoyed.